Adam from Five Space, and we're here today with Hot DJ Gear, just going over uh, the latest firmware on the Pioneer XDJ Aero and what it can do with the iPad. On the Aero itself, we've got the latest firmware version 3 already loaded on it, and also the latest version of Record Box on the iPad. It's really nice and simple to use. Um, when you open up Record Box, you appear with this screen here, so straight away we're loading as normal. Just let it connect to the Aero itself. Here we go. At the moment I'm using a USB stick in the Aero, so we're going to swap to the actual hard drive of the unit itself. <coughs> there we go, so we've got our screen loaded up now, so we'll pick a couple of tracks, as you would do normally within the Aero. So we'll just pull up. Okay, so now we've got two tracks loaded. At the top here, you'll find there's an additional button appeared now. So we'll just press that, and it comes into the control mode. So whereas before, you'd use hands-on with the decks themselves to control. What we can do now is control it wirelessly via the iPad. So as you can see, there's no wires attached at all to that. Yeah, we've got transport controls for the unit. So we can simply press play on the iPad and it will start the track. That's on both sides. You've got auto loops built into here as well so you can set an automatic one bar loop, half bar and then it roll down and simply tap it to come off. Along the bottom as well you've also got FX1 and FX2, again for each channel. So now, as well as controlling it wirelessly, we can add effects into the mix. So we're getting a filter there, a flanger, and you can change the depth levels at the top there, so a bit more. And I say you can mix and match, so you can come out of the one while controlling the other one. And again, with the iPad, it's all multi-touch, so you can do both at the same time very easily. So that's the latest firmware with the XCJ Aero and the iPad.